Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. We can't do that, yet we made laws in Florida, for example, you cannot buy a firearm until you're 21 years old. So you could be an adult at 18 years old, and you and you can't buy a firearm until you're 21 years old. We've got red flags. We've got all kinds of other stupid yeah. laws on the books here. You're right there. Mm-hmm. I am all about the 21-year-old uh, adjustment to the law. Why? Because I was an 18-year-old. I'd never seen a gun. If you'd have handed me a M16 or an AR-15... Or a mini fort. Okay, so you're for people being age limited until they're 21 years old to buy guns. You're for that, you're saying? Oh, I am absolutely for that. Why? Yeah. Because I was an 18 year old kid. I didn't have the sense I was born with. I was always enamored with guns and thought they were cool. Couldn't ever afford them, didn't know how to buy them, never did. Um, but I know I had no business having a high fire rifle. Okay. So let me training without upbringing, without anything. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Now, first of all, in Florida, you can't buy anything. You can't buy a handgun. You can't defend yourself. You could be 18, 19 years old, living on your own, traveling around at night. You can't defend yourself. Okay, we're not just talking about an AR-15. Or 15-year-olds, or 14-year-olds. Mm-hmm. So, wait, I missed that part. Say that again, Vince. I missed the last part. I said either can 17-year-olds, 16-year-olds, 15-year-olds, they can't defend themselves either. We have a civilized society where you shouldn't need to be able to defend yourself <laughs> every turn. Okay, yeah. So, here's mm. the thing, though, Vince. Depending on the neighborhood. Yeah, Vince, you were in the Marines, right? Correct. What age did you go in the Marines? 17. Oh, okay. I mean, so you should not have been in the Marines at 17. You should not have Why? been a Marine. Why? You, you, don't have, you didn't have any sense. <laughs> but they gave me sense and training and discipline and oversight. And put I guns did, in your hands. <laughs> I didn't touch a firearm without weeks of prior preparation on nomenclature and safety and snapping in on the rain on a freaking cement pad with a non-functional M16 and then learned the process and then had multiple people over me during the actual firing of the weapon and teaching me how to handle it safely night and day. Yeah. Listen, uh, 18 year olds don't have that. So listen, if, and, and I hear people, I see people saying this in the chat. If you can't own a firearm until you're 21 years old, you shouldn't be in the military. You shouldn't be able, you, you shouldn't That's be able cool. to, vote. there's because a whole bunch of things you should not be able to do. I said the military is the most restrictive with most oversight and the most discipline and the most training to prevent accidents or willful acts, and it's uh, vir- virtually, not literally, virtually impossible to f- up with a gun in the Marine Corps at seventeen years old. Because I, 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 I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call bullshit on that one. I'm gonna say bull. I'm gonna call bullshit on that. I was not in the military, but I am gonna call bullshit on that. Uh, my brother-in-law was in the military, and uh, he got blown up, all kinds of stuff by accident. So, um, you know, yeah. I don't really think accident. that's true. And there's there's, there's lots of young kids. My uh, for the last but ten when years, you, when you cycle, mm-hmm. when you cycle fifty thousand or a hundred thousand recruits through, and you have an accident or two accidents, that's way different than giving guns to an untrained, undisciplined. Maybe a uh, troubled youth at 18 years old. Way different. Two different environments. Yeah, and I so, also I also don't believe that only people who went in the military had that kind of discipline. For the last 10 years, I've owned lots of guns. 
And my kids who are 22 and 23 years old for the last 10 years have had all those guns around them. They've shot full auto, all kinds of guns that they've handled, shot, been around and all that kind of stuff. And they're, and they're totally fine. That's you fine. As long as you're there and you're supervising them. But I don't want your kids at 18 years old going out and buying weapons that they don't know how to use, that they're not, they have no purpose for having it. They've never been trained in self-defense. They don't know the laws about deadly force. I mean, we can go on and on and So on do you, do you, you've got kids, right? I do. Okay, I'm assuming your kids are probably my kids' age or older. They're 30-ish. Okay, so... If you had if you had like a 19 year old daughter that had to be out there late at night, you know, working at some store or something like that and getting around, I'm not saying that you would necessarily want her to be walking around with an AR. That her boyfriend better go and pick her up after work or like I did with my daughter in Tahoe when she got off after dark, I would go escort her. She had to make drops at the bank or whatever for her business. She was working and bring her home. That's what you do. So what if? So what if? So what if there's some? What the, what if there's someone else's daughter out there that doesn't have a badass dad like you, but she still needs to defend defend herself. She can't go and get some kind of. She can't go get something to defend herself and do it responsible uh, uh, unless you're around. No, there's enough okay. enough other options that she doesn't need to carry a gun at 18 or 19 years old that she's never been trained with or never that's i i just listen i've been living on my own since i was 18 years old i didn't have my parents to fall back on or defend me or anything like that and i know there's lots of people out there i'm not saying everyone is like that out there but there's lots of folks out there so i don't know that's one of those i wouldn't agree with let me ask you this between 18 and 21 how many times were you robbed shot at uh, confronted with a gun, um, whatever. Be um, honest. Between 18 and 21, I'm going to say there was probably about 10 different incidents. I was robbed by police officers before I was 21 years okay, old. Okay, that, 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 so, that's funny. I grew up in New York City. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up in New York City in the crack 80s. You know, the part of New York City I lived in was run by John Gotti. So, I mean, it was so totally it been good. No, it was totally insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, I think that, you know, it, it was a crazy, it was a crazy life for me. I was robbed, all kinds of things, uh, including Dude, by I, people in law enforcement. Through 63 years without being robbed, without. It happens. Other than my law enforcement experience, how is everybody so vulnerable in this world? I just don't get it. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm surprised at you, man. You know, I think, you know, to hear that you at, at, at 21 years old, wherever you were living, you never came across firearms or anything like that is interesting. Oh, I came across firearms, but I never had anybody threaten to kill me or, or shoot up a store or try to rob me. Now, when I was undercover, I had all that happen, but that's Now, now listen, I read your book. When you were a kid, you, you got into a lot of. I did. Oh, okay. I, but but you but it was still it, it was still obviously like a cream puff life because dude I, <laughs> dude, I had guns pointed at me. Chucky Diaz, the guy who killed mm -hmm. um, Grandowski in Fort Bragg, California, burnt the house to the ground, severed the kids' hands, cut their heads off, all that. That dude pointed a gun at me when I was like fourteen years old. I was there cleaning some pop with a couple of friends of mine, and he didn't know who I was and pointed a gun at me. Again, I went through 63 years, had some uh, questionable experiences, but let's not act like everybody who walks out the door is in great jeopardy of being carjacked, robbed, raped, murdered. There are those environments and they're all democratically run. New York City, Chicago, San Francisco, L.A. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. You knock these guys in the dirt. They raise a hand or raise a gun to an officer. You put them down. They, you know, and you put them away forever. 
but they ain't doing that. So now yeah. everybody thinks, oh, I got to go have a gun and I got to have a... Uh, go so ahead. I'm gonna I'm I, gonna let Rich jump in here. I'm gonna let Rich go ahead. Thanks, Rich. man. I, mm. I agree with a lot of what Vincent says, but I'm also more on the side of liberty. So let, let's go to the age thing. Hank and I both grew up in New York. Uh, I grew up out on Long Island, and look, until my mid twenties, I, I was probably much as Vince described himself. I was absolutely not the right person to own a firearm. And I didn't because I knew myself and I knew it would be irresponsible for me to own a firearm when I was 18, 19, 20 years old. And but I'm saying that, hey, there are people that are responsible. There are 18, 19, 20 year old kids that are responsible and probably could handle it. Me, I was not one of them at the time. And, and the, the thing is, like, where we're talking about, you don't know when you're going to get robbed. You don't know who's going to get robbed. That's the whole idea of randomness. That's why we wear seatbelts and have ABS brakes on the cars and fire extinguishers, because you don't know when your house is going to burn down either. Yeah. So uh, I – What is I'm the – like, I understand – like, hey, listen, I don't – I'm not going to sit here and say to you that, like, a, a 10-year-old or a 15-year-old right. – should be walking around conceal carry. I don't know that uh, that's not necessarily what I'm saying here. But what I'm saying to you is, you know, if I had an adult, ch which I've got adult children, I want my kids to come home alive to me, right? Mm -hmm. So if well, if they're 19, well, if they're 20, I want them to to get home alive. It doesn't matter if a police officer shows up and says, "Okay, someone just killed your kid. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go hunt him down for you and take care of it because I can't bring that kid back." I had a friend of mine that his daughter was 16 years old and, and, a, and a guy, you know, a, a, a tried to force himself on her at gunpoint and wound up shooting her in the hip and all that kind of stuff. Oh, when, when that happens to you, you know, when that happens to your kid, it's too late to pull that back in. No, now, at no, that age, no, I, I didn't expect her to be armed. Based on one life experience, you think 16 year olds should be allowed to carry guns? No, I did. I just said that I don't necessarily think that. But I think that if you, you know, if you're a, if you're a 18 year old, a 19 year old, a 20 year old, and you're on your own, okay, and you're responsible for your safety, it's easy to say, hey, we're the cops, we'll take yeah. care of it when it happens. But th that doesn't bring your kid back. Dude, prevention, you know? prevention is worth a pound of cure. I have five kids. Count five. Mm -hmm. Four boys and one girl. They're mm -hmm. all firearms proficient. They all, when they turn 21, got the CCW and their training and what have you. And they'd all been raised with me and were proficient with firearms. Not one of them would I have given a firearm be to before they turned 21. And probably if I had my way, it'd be 25 because that's when I finally got some sense. But I, I can live with 21. Yeah, you know, I, I think that not everyone you're, is in the... Not college every, 21. You're not, not even... A, not, not, not everyone's in the same... Not everyone's in the same boat. Not everyone's in the same boat. Some people are in situations where they should be able to... You know, they should be able to defend themselves and they're considered adults. And the thing I think about it is if in our society we say you're not an adult until you're 21, then we shouldn't force you to go somewhere and fight and die for your country until you're Don't 21. Don't force anybody. We have a totally voluntary military. Stop, dude. There's no draft. Everyone who is in there raise their right hand willingly. When and you're how, at what age do you have to sign up for selective service? 18. 18, right? Yeah. So from that point on, you could you could wind up serving, right? But you're not. No? No. No. Okay. So Nobody's, I, I, been, Nobody's been drafted in 50 years, dude. Yeah, but that so then so then why does that law exist? In case <laughs> our neck comes under attack, duh. Okay. So this is we. Listen, my thing and is we got to settle this go out. Back. Then we go back. We go back to the, but they will be run through training. They will have direct supervision. They will be inundated with firearm safety, and I have drill instructors over them.
constantly. They will not be given firearms unless they have a specific purpose for it. So, two different animals, man. Okay, and then you start, when, what age did you start driving? 15, 16, whatever. Oh, okay. So you were driving vehicles. I'm sure you could have taken out a whole bunch of people, right? My kids were driving around that age also. So Could have yeah. ran over a parade at Christmas. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's the most likely scenario. That's the statistically the scenario that happens, that, that, that things go wrong, right? You, you get into accidents, you die, you kill someone else. That happens, right? Why do, we, why do we allow that? We shouldn't even let you even think about that until you're 21. Uh, you're talking about apples and oranges, but... No, or, or okay, okay, I'll go to another Wait, thing. You shouldn't be able to, almost, to, to prosecute someone as an adult until they're 21 either. And you can't, unless there's special circumstances. If, if Almost an cold equal cold amount of people cold. die in car accidents as they do uh, from gun. Uh, from gun shootings, um, so yeah, I would think even I would think even more. But also, I would think that you know, um, I don't know. I I think that we, you know, we we make things convenient. Obviously, politicians don't want to say, "Oh yeah, you can't vote. You can't do anything until you're 21." We don't consider you an adult until you're 21. Okay. Now, maybe as time goes on here, I think that 21 years old people aren't fully baked in. There was a time. You know, there was a time in our society that at 16 years old, someone's fully baked in. I know when I was 16 years old, I was responsible. I had a full-time job. I was doing all these things. These are different then, times. These yeah. are different. Yeah. Then we should uh, then we should adjust for that. We can't just go. You know what? No, I don't want you to own anything until you're 21. But I'm going to hold you responsible for everything you do. We don't hold anybody responsible. We have no bail laws. We have light sentencing we have all this liberal horse that's not holding anybody accountable so the only other option is to tighten up on that you if know we would prosecute yeah. prosecute mm -hmm. these and bury them i was i was in florida with customs before i joined atf during the Vice Presidential Task Force, the uh, Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Force. And they flooded South Florida. I'm talking about the early 80s with cocaine wars and everything. Flooded South Florida with ATF agents. And they were making so many cases that the bad guys were like, you know what? You can survive getting busted with five keys of coke. But if there's one gun, you're getting and you know what? I couldn't hardly find a gun. I seized tons of dope. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.